first 40 years of my life until I came to Columbia University. And after that, I was Dr. Lynn Ellen Burton, and I'm very happy about that. Um, I'm also somebody's mom, and I have six grandchildren. So it's been quite a while since I graduated. I was one of the Aegis Five graduates right in the very, very beginning of the Aegis program at Columbia University. Uh, actually, I retired two years ago from my position, and at the time I retired, I was a professor at Simon Fraser University in Vancouver, British Columbia, and I was chair of the Humanities Department. And prior to that, I had been dean of continuing studies at the university, responsible for the um, adult education, continuing education program. And prior to that, I was dean at CSULA in Los Angeles. And it was just um, great. My jobs were wonderful. I was a little blonde woman in a big, big role, and I loved my work. And it's all in many ways because of my doctorate from Columbia University and a little sprinkling of good luck. <laughs> well, what drew me to the program? Well, mm, well, I have to say, one thing that drew me to the program was I knew that if I applied, I would probably get in because I had a wealth of adult education experience, although it was highly, highly competitive. And I also knew that I could probably be successful. I had a master's degree from Johns Hopkins and I was very successful in that. The dean at, of the evening college and summer session at Hopkins had hired me right out of the master's program as coordinator of continuing education in his department. So I knew I had a good sound background in adult education. And um, before going into my academic life, I actually, um, I did a lot of adult education work in Canada. When I applied for the program, I had um, just completed the second only ever national study in Canada on adult education. I also, if you'd like to know, I also um, uh, was one of two nationally elected board members of the Canadian Association for Adult Education before applying to Columbia. And in that capacity, I did a lot of international work, consulting in the international field on adult education. But, and I got to go to some really nice international conferences um, around the world. And it was really quite, uh, I was quite fortunate to have um, done many things um, that would qualify me for the Aegis program. And I was very lucky, and I, I really looked at, um, in this capacity of international education, I knew about Jack Mesero, and I read some of his work, and I was really, really impressed with Jack, and he was the head of the program when I applied. And I also was really impressed with Stephen Brookfield, um, because he, Stephen really looked at how to empower adults, and um, I just really was, I, I really was impressed with um, uh, their work. And then I looked at the rest of the faculty and they were just super. I had Dr. Jeannie Bitterman as my um, thesis advisor and she was incredible. She had set very high standards and sometimes I was left wanting, but she, once she was comfortable that I was ready, she defended me right to the very end. She just said she knows what she's doing and I was shaken in my shoes. When I came in for my doctoral defense, I was just shaken in my shoes. And there was Jeannie saying, it's OK. Don't worry, you got it. <laughs> and I went in, and I guess I got it. <laughs> I think by that point, she was really comfortable that I knew what I was talking about. <laughs> well, the program itself um, is a cohort-based program. and. Being in Aegis Five, it was right in the very beginning, and um, it was a very small cohort. There were only 13 of us, 
and when you do a full program, you become really good friends. Um, and the, the other members of the cohort came from such different backgrounds. There, it was just such a unique mix of people. One of my very good friends, who I will be seeing on Sunday here in New York, was um, involved in health promotion. Um, we had a couple of businessmen. We had teachers, college teachers, who wanted to complete and, um, and have that final ticket. Um, it, it was, the program itself was really rich in the cohort and in the faculty. Um, and of course, we would, when we were here, we would enjoy the, the um, pleasures that New York has to offer, and that was really special too. The, the ladies on Friday night would go dancing at the Hilton. That was lovely fun. So it was a really good program to build um, uh, a group, group support of each other. Um, it was just really, really good. I remember for our comprehensive exams, I went out to a store and I bought 13 t-shirts and they had, they had Mounties on the front of the t-shirts and they were carrying flags and on the backs of everyone's t-shirt I put on the stencil that said thinking shirt Aegis thinking shirts so we're doing our final comprehensives and everyone's nervous and we're sitting in the, the room and there are 13 of us sitting with these Mountie shirts on <laughs> It was really cool, and we all managed to, most of us, I think, managed to, to come through and supported each other. We did lots of studying together. And, and looking back on it now, I know um, that what it really did, what the doctorate from Columbia really did, was open the door. I went immediately after I had had a full public service career in Canada and a very rich one as, as an executive of the public service and a you know, really fun career. The minute I had my doctorate, I was off to CSULA as a dean. So the experience that I had gained over a lifetime of work coupled with the doctorate really opened the door to a whole new career and this was for me well after. I was one of the youngest ones in my cohort, but I was still in my 40s when I moved from one career to another. It, the, the, what, the, um, what the program did for me is that I, I, um, I, I was one of the living um, evidence of what Stephen Brookfield was promoting this, and, and Jack Mesro, the self-actualized person. I really was able to choose what I wanted to do. I had the confidence and I had the credential to be able to do what I wanted to do. And it was incredible. And I now, in retirement, look back on it and say, was I ever lucky? Mm -hmm. Things just, I, it was a lot of hard work. I can't say it was just luck. It was a lot of hard work. But to be able to have the experience that I had and then move, transition into a whole new career with the doctorate was really something very special. And I thank all of those people who helped me to do that. It was, without them, I wouldn't have been able to do it. And without the flexibility that Aegis gave me to do it, where I could keep working in my full-time job until that point where I was ready to make a transition. Well, <laughs> I would say, oh, this is, it's a little, um, it's a little difficult for me to explain this, but um, I, I all, before I got my master's at Hopkins, I had a little bit of a hesitancy. You have to realize that I went through all of this uh, 27 years ago, I think is what we were thinking. Um, and uh, 27 years ago, things have changed an awful lot since then, but as a female, um, I didn't have as much confidence as I should have probably in my ability to succeed. And when I got my degree at Hopkins, 
um, it was largely because my husband also had his degree from Hopkins and I thought I'm as smart as he is so <laughs> I, can, I can probably be successful so I, I was successful there and I got more experience and then when someone who knew me well saw the Aegis program they said to me well I know you're not going to be finished until you're finished and this program will help you finish and I look back on it and say they were absolutely right. It was flexible. It was extremely valuable in terms of my own self-confidence and my ability to dream what I wanted to dream and then follow through on it. And that's what happened. Do it. Do it. If you can do it, do it. And there's no guarantee. There's absolutely no guarantee. But from my own experience, that's all I can talk about. From my own experience, it was extremely worthwhile. And if you're looking for career advancement, it's likely to help you. If you're looking for career transitions, yes, I'm sure it'll help you. But if you're looking for doing something for yourself, that's what this program is all about. And that's what my doctorate is all about. I feel very proud to be able to say I'm a doctor in Ellenberg. Je vais te dire pourquoi je t'aime.